Hello, today is all about lace. You need one dumbbell and a bench or a chair, water. It's cold outside, so I need a little something if I need to blow my nose. Let's get going. Every time you bend down, please bend your knees. Okay, we're gonna start on the chair, or on the bench. Sit down, and I want your legs to be 90 degrees, okay? Weight is in your heels. We want you to have your toes up in your shoes, Warm up for a couple minutes. Now come up for two. Up, up, come down, just a little tap. We're not resting, we're just tapping. Because if you have never done squats before, if you are joining me for the first time, I want your form to be perfect. It's all about warm, okay? And if you never wanna add the weight, if this is your first time with me, great. Body weight is fantastic. Lots of my body weights on this channel are body weight. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe and if you do the video comment I want to know what you thought about it how you felt all that stuff only 200 more two more right here I should have worn gloves Ooh, it's cold out here one more right here okay balance friends I'm gonna tilt this over to the side a little bit we're gonna run balance also works on your glutes and your hamstrings left hand behind your back right arm out Come on down and come on up. Now try, believe it or not, I'm totally wiggling as well when you probably see. Try not to rush up. You get more out of the exercise by staying nice and slow. Like I said, it's totally normal to wiggle and to wobble. Just one more right here, one more. And switch. Now, when, when you get really good at these, these are gonna seem high. You could actually put your dumbbell on its head or your water bottle and reach down for that. For the warm-up though, this is totally fine. We're gonna do two more. Head to foot, Woo, almost bit on that one. It's a nice straight line. Okay, come on up. Have a seat. Singles right here. Up, a little tap. Toes are up in your shoes, all the weight always back in your heels. Every lower body exercise, weight's gonna be back in those heels. Stay up nice and tall, shoulders back, chest up. More and more, just like that. There's three. One more. Okay, let's go back to the, I call the T bend, single leg deadlift. Left hand behind your back. There we go. We're only gonna do five. We'll do three total warm-up sets. Another one. Oops. Happens. And when that happens to you, you just know that just means you're human. Not perfect. Oh, not perfect. Give yourself grace. Find you yourself when you fall over. One more right here. My balance is a little off today. Right hand behind your back. Left hand out. Ready? Here we go. And as women, I will tell you this, guys, if you're doing this, you don't have to listen. Our cycle has a lot to do with how we balance. So one week, your balance is not amazing. It has to do with where you are in that cycle. The joys of womanhood. Oh my gosh, one more. Okay, last set of squats right here. The joys of womanhood, right? Okay, 90 degrees, the singles, here we go. Up. Tap down. Also, make sure you're not holding your breath. When you hold your breath, oh my gosh, that totally throws that balance off. Here's three, two, now hover. Hover. Just hanging out here for a little while, because we can. Toes up in your shoes. Four, three, how the squad's feeling, two. Come on up. Woo! You awake now? Okay. Last set, only five of each. Left hand back. Try to keep that head neck spine in a straight line. Here we go. As opposed to hunching or rounding your shoulders, I want that glute and that hamstring to be doing all the work. Last two right here. There's two. Let's switch. Right hand behind that back. Here we go. Again, if you do this one more than a few times and you're like, this is way too easy for the warm up, go ahead and catch that water bottle. Or even your toe. Oh my gosh, it's totally doable. Okay. 
quick low back stretch. Arms up back, in and up, in, up. Four more, more like that, then we're gonna look over the shoulder. Last chair right here. Look over your shoulder right here for two. And switch. One more time each way, so just two. Last one. Down the center for two. Roll it up. Last one right here. Okay, if you are a very beginner, let's just do body weight only. If you have been working out for a while, let's grab that dumbbell. Bend down with those knees always. Okay, you're gonna have it right here, and you're gonna actually gonna start seated so you know where you are. We're gonna come up for two, down for two. The weight is just hanging out here just to make the squat a little bit harder, ready? Up for two, here we go. Up. And if this is very easy, you can always hold two dumbbells. Get a heavier dumbbell. If you have a backpack at home, you can fill up full of books and make it a little bit harder. This is your day. This is your workout. Please do what feels best for you. And if body weight is what feels best, I'm just glad you're moving with me today. Last two right here. Here's two. One more here. Okay, now we're gonna go back to what we just did. We're gonna fold the weight in one hand. So, so it's a little bit. The weight is in my right hand. My right leg is coming back. Actually, that's wrong. Sorry. Weight's in the opposite hand. We're gonna come down and touch and come back up. Right? We're not gonna be like this. Roll your shoulders back and away. Okay, right hand out. We're gonna do five more right here. Five. Super slow. Keep breathing. Four. Oh my gosh, that dumbbell sure makes this exercise a little bit harder. Last two right here. These two. This is why we go slow. Fast and use momentum. You want to work your hamstrings and your glutes. Okay, left foot back. Dumbbells in the right hand. Six only. Ready, here we go. Six. Stay slow with me and breathe. Five. Please, anytime you need water, please get it. Three. Last two right here. Here's two. Now, I'm gonna move this over just a little bit more. You can absolutely sit on the fat bottom of the bench. I'm gonna stay here, down for three, up for one. Here we go. Three, two, one. Bring it right back up. If you cannot go as low as me, that's fine. That bench or your chair is a great stopper for your squat. Keeps your form on point, okay? Three, two, one. If you can go lower and wanna try, give it a go. Let's go three more like that. Three, two, one. Excellent work. Three, two. Last one right here. And you also get a little core work in there as well. Okay. Right hand out, ready? Three, here we go. I'm telling you, that steady breathing absolutely helps your balance. Here's three, we are halfway there. Last two, hang in there. We got this, last one. Can you see me? 40. Great workout weather. My hands are a little too Great workout weather. Okay. Roll your shoulders back. Here we go. Six. And again, friends, this is your day. This is your workout. If your dumbbell is too heavy, you can grab a lighter dumbbell. You can grab a filled water bottle. Or your own body weight. It is great. Last two right here. And then move on. Last one. Okay, bend down, let's put that dumbbell down. I'm gonna bring that bench back. These are called one leg get ups. They're not easy. Keep working on them. Lift your right foot up, stand up. Take the foot down to come down. Press up. Core, balance, glute, hamstring. Hello. Now, when these get easy, hold a dumbbell. Okay, that's gonna make it that much harder. 
And if you say, Pam, there is no way I could ever do these. 100% yes you can. Like anything else, it takes practice. Last one on the side. Lots of practice. We also always need to be working on balance. As we get older, I don't want you to fall. I don't want to fall. This is strength and balance in one. We're only doing six on each side. The hard ones, six on each side. Here's four. How are those legs feeling? Oh my gosh. Here's five. One more. Six, bend down. Grab that dumbbell. Okay. We're gonna do a wide squat called a plie squat. So your toes here, my toes are facing out. Weight's gonna be here. Slight bend when we get closer here. Oh, we can start here. Let's start on the ground. On the ground. Let's start on the bench. Up for two. Here we go. Up, up, down. A little tap. It's not a rest, friends. It's a tap. Again, dumbbell if it's too heavy. Put it down. Body weight only. Now when you come up, I want you to think about squeezing those glutes, okay? Glutes, hamstrings, squeeze everything on the way up. There is a mind-muscle connection. This is inner thigh, glutes, a little bit in your quads. Let's do two more right here. Last one. Sit down. Let's put that out of your waist so you don't step on it. Two sets of everything. Ready? Here we go. Press up. Think about what you're doing. Press through that heel. Remember I said everything is through the heel? It's true. Everything through that heel. That's three. Halfway there from the side. Four. And if you're saying damn, Pam, you're welcome. One more. I want to push you. Switch. I want to challenge you. I want to help you get stronger and stay stronger. So you feel amazing in your own skin. Strength training is the fountain of youth. That's why most 95% of my videos are strength training. I do a little cardio with a Tabata or a cardio interval, but everything is based around strength. Last one right here. Okay, bend down. Now you do not, after you do not have to use the bench, you can. Down, two, three, bring it right back up. Slower, oh boy. Makes you engage that much more. Excellent. Three, two, one, and barely a tap. Your butt is on the very edge of that bench. Three, and see how my knees are not going past my toes? That's why you want a wider stance. Stay up nice and tall. Three, two, we have three more, that's it. Three, two, bring it right back up. Three, two, last one right here. Three, two, excellent, okay. Now I want you to lunges, a little balance challenge as well. We are not gonna use the weight right now. But I want you to have the bench or your chair there. Now, when you come down, I want you to be at 90. Never like this. That's gonna put pressure on your knee and I don't want that. So I want you to come down like I am and, and tap your chair or your bench. This is where we're going to and we're gonna come up. Not a huge range of motion, but again, I'm all about the form. Down for two. Down for two. Press your front heel on the ground. Down for two. Press up right there. Down, down, press up. Bring it down. Beautiful work just like that. Warm, warm. And breathe and breathe. Here's three. Try not to use this. Unless you're about to fall over. I just looked almost fell over. And one more right here. Down, down, up. Shake it out. Okay, great big step back. See where we're going here. Let's start going to here. Let's start up. It's great to find something on the floor to focus on so you don't fall over like I'm about to. Down for two right here. Down for two. Press up through that heel. Bring it down, down, press up through that heel. If this is very easy for you, you can hold that dumbbell here. You can hold it in your opposite arm to make that just a touch harder. Hold it up to you. Bring it down. Last two right here. Here's two. One more right here. Come on up. 
One more each way, and that's it. Then we'll stretch. Okay. If you can do more, grab that dumbbell. I'm gonna say body weight, but if you want more, please do. Okay. Round those shoulders back and away. Ready, here we go. Down. Actually, three and one. That's how we have to finish the second set. Down for three right here. Three, two. Excellent job. Here's three, two. Only 500 more. 30 more right here. Three, two. Hands can be here. They can be here. They can be here. There's no wrong way place for your hands. Come on up. Oh, are you making that pace? Even body weight. I totally feel that. Last set. I'll roll those shoulders back. Up nice and tall. Waist in that front heel. Ready, here we go. Where are my hands? When you're having total balance, of course, out to the side is the best place for them to be. Here's three, two, one. That's it. Three, two. On the home stretch. Here's the final, final. Three to go. Three to go. Hang in there with me. Come on. You can do the two more of anything. Three, two. Last one right here. Three, two, one. Shake it out. I'm gonna put fluffy music on for our stretch. Okay, grab a quick drink of water. I'm gonna blow my nose because it's chilly. Let's stretch out those legs that work so hard for us. Now we are gonna lunge, but we're gonna stay in one. Oh, it's gonna be this way so you can see. You take a giant, giant step back, and you're gonna come down instead of down and up. I want you to tilt this hip forward, <clears throat> so you feel this in your hip flexion right here. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Hands can be here. They can be here. They can be here to open up your chest. If you just did upper body yesterday, it's a great chest opener. Or they can be here. Totally up to you. Any of the legs might be shaking a little bit. That's totally normal. And come on up. Let's switch sides. Please, 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 please. Don't ever leave without stretching. Can lead to injury, can lead to strained muscle. Your muscles need to stretch after every workout, please. Again, if you did this before, let's see, we could do this this time. Uh, oh, whew. And your hip flexor and inner quad should be feeling this. And come on up. Since we have our bench here, let's use it. Heels on the bench. Now, our natural inclination is to turn away. I want you to turn towards that leg. Bend your standing leg. It wants to lock out. Don't let it. And I want you to lean and reach. Now, if you need help on your fitness journey, I have a private Facebook group called the Perfect Balance Tribe, where I love, love, love helping women on their health and wellness journey. I post daily inspiration, motivation. We have a weekly Facebook Live where we talk about everything, wins, struggles, how to troubleshoot things, holidays, weekends, parties, things like that. You go to my website, theperfectbalance.guru for information. Come on up. I also do one-on-one -on -one coaching, mostly food coaching, bend that knee. Most women I work with want to lose weight and we should be exercising for our long-term health, but exercise is never the key to weight loss, ever, ever, ever. If you're tracking your calories and your food, please don't ever add your exercise into your calories because you should not be eating those back unless you are an endurance athlete and you're doing a 20 mile run. That's a different story. My kind of workouts, 15, 20 minutes, please don't add them in. They're bonus, bonus calories your body's burning, burning it during the day. So I talk a lot about food, uh, calorie deficit to lose weight, and the things that you can eat. I try not to focus on what we can't do. That's not good. Come on up. Now, we do that same thing. So our hamstrings work hard for us today. Same thing, but on the ground, lean and reach. Oh, hello, hamstrings. And I want you to think about everybody. We're doing this now, today, so that we feel better next week, next month, next year, come on up, 
it's not too, um, it's, well, exercise is good for so many things, anxiety, depression, um, can help prevent so many lifestyle related diseases, lots of cancers, type two diabetes, um, so many things are better with exercise, but I don't want you ever to look at exercise as a way to lose weight. I want you to feel strong in your body, I want you to be flexible, I want you to feel empowered because you can lift up heavy things from what we're doing together, okay? And please, if you watch this, I would love to hear a comment, what you think, how you felt during the workout, all those things. Okay, now just the way, like the way we started, let's arch that back in and arch it up. Take a deep breath in, arch in, and blow it out, arch it up. And come to the center, look over your shoulder all the way to the sky or ceiling, wherever you are. And let's switch. And come back down one more time to the center, roll it down. And pull it up. Hey, thank you so much for your time today. I so appreciate you working out with me. Remember, your health is your greatest wealth. Go out and have a great day.